Hey there, it's Johnny here, and before we get into this Lightroom tip, I just want to apologise. Man, my shirt was dirty in this video. I looked like an absolute grub, so yeah, no excuses other than it was 5am and I hadn't finished my first coffee, but uh, yeah, other than that, I think you're going to enjoy this Lightroom tip, and please forgive my dirty shirt. Actually, I'm in a singlet, so I'm really not much looking much better now, but anyway, enjoy the Lightroom tip. <laughs> Hey there, what's up? It's Johnny here and welcome to another episode of the 3C Show. And you can see I've got the beanie on today. It's getting cold where I am, starting to cool down. So it's, uh, yeah, man, I'm missing summer already. But we're, we're, we're in autumn right now and it's only the first month. But man, it feels like it's like Mother Nature's like flicked a switch and it's all of a sudden just starting to get freezing. But that's okay because we've got hot coffee. Mmm. Ah, lovely. And today on the show, we're talking about Lightroom. We're talking about the Lightroom catalog, and it's a super important thing for you to understand as a Lightroom user, okay? So we're going to jump in. I'm going to show you around a few little tricks that I use to managing my Lightroom catalogs. One thing the Lightroom isn't, isn't good at is when your catalog starts to get really, really huge, okay? It can slow down Lightroom. So what we want to do is I've got a few scenarios when I would create a brand new Lightroom catalog and start working from that. And I'll show you how to do that and also show you how to find your catalog. And we'll talk about the things that are stored in your Lightroom catalog as well. All right, let's jump over to the, the Lightrooms and have a check, see what's going on here. Check, see, that's great English, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's do it. It. All right, so we're here in Lightroom, and the first thing that you want to understand about Lightroom is that your photos aren't stored in the catalog, okay? So that's one thing to know. Your photos are stored in a separate location to often to your catalog, all right? So, but that's fine. We're going to talk about storage and all that in, in some coming shows of the 3C show. So we'll get into that a little bit later. But today, we're just concentrating on the catalog. So that's the first thing to know. Your, lo your images are not stored in there. So if I go up to Lightroom up here and I go down to Catalog Settings, and it's gonna bring up this little window here, and you can see from here, there's a couple of things it's telling me, okay? So this is the information about my catalog, the size, when it was backed up, when it was created, you know, the location of it. So once we click the show button here, it's gonna throw me over to the finder and show me where my Lightroom catalog is here. Okay, and here you can see this is where it's located. So this is the main Lightroom catalog file. Okay, and then you've got a couple of others. So this is the previews file. Okay, and basically what the previews file is, it's where it stores the low res JPEG versions of your images that are showing up in Lightroom when you're viewing them. Okay, for instance, when I hit the import button here, you'll see on the right hand side here, um, in, under file handling, see you've got this build previews and you've got standard one-to-one -one minimal. So those previews are basically what's stored in that file that we were talking about out there, the uh, three previews.lr data file. That's what that file is, okay? And um, the other ones, the lock is just what happens to the catalog when you've got it open. Another thing that's really interesting to determine what catalog you have open, okay, is if we have a look over here, along the top bar, you can see Lightroom catalog dash three dot LR cat, okay? And that basically will determine what catalog that Lightroom is viewing at that time. Um, the other thing that gets stored in the Lightroom catalog are things like, you know, um, um, some, some of the metadata about your images that you created, things like flagging and tagging, all those types of things. Um, any of the develop module settings that you've created will also get stored in there. So it's kind of important, you know, if you spent lots of time organizing your photos in Lightroom, you spent lots of time creating collections, doing editing, all those type of things, your Lightroom catalog is really important because if you lose that, you know, it's gone forever, okay? So that's why I recommend you don't keep your Lightroom catalog in the default location on your computer. You put it somewhere that it's located with your images, okay? I, I tend to find that um, it works better that way for me, okay? So let's have a look. How do we create new Lightroom catalogs? Let's have a look at that. If I go up here to File and I go up here to New Catalog, and then I'm just gonna put it on my desktop and I wanna show you what I would create. So I would have a thing called Lightroom Cat. Cat, cat, whatever you want to call it. Lightroom Cat. I'll just create a folder that's sort of like your, your master Lightroom catalog. And in that, I'm gonna create one. I'm just gonna put 20, 
2019, okay? And this is how I work with my Lightroom catalogs, okay? And then I'm gonna go skip this time, and then what what's gonna happen is Lightroom's gonna close down and reopen up with my new catalog that I've created, all right? So if I go to File now, if I go to Lightroom, sorry, and go down to Catalog Settings, you'll see what's happened. It's changed over to the new catalog location. If I hit Show, we're now on the desktop, okay? And you can see here is our new Lightroom catalog that we created in this Lightroom catalog folder. And that's basically what I like to do. So I, I would have, um, every year for my landscape photography, I would create a new Lightroom catalog, okay? And what that does, it just keeps your Lightroom ca catalog optimized and ready to go. That's for my landscape and nature photography. If you're doing client work, I would actually keep a brand new Lightroom catalog um, I would create a brand new Lightroom catalog for each project, you know, and in, in different projects, it, you know, I would store that catalog together with the original images. So that just means when I back up my photos, when I archive my photos, all that work that I've done, you know, editing those photos and sorting those photos, it gets, it gets saved in the Lightroom catalog along with those images. So if I ever need to go back to them, they're always going to be there, okay? You just gotta think of your Lightroom catalog as like the master file that tells Lightroom everything that you've done about your images, how you've sorted them, how you've tagged them, how you've flagged them, you know, how you've, what collections you put them in and what develop module things, you know, uh, changes you've made. So it is a really important file and putting them with the originals of each image is how I would back them up. And I even do that every year. So every year I'll have like my 2019 images and inside there will be a Lightroom folder that I'll have my um my catalog for that year stored in okay so yeah the lightroom catalog is it's really important to know it's really important to understand and creating a new one for every year will mean that you'll keep your lightroom catalog super organized okay and that's then that's really important to keep it organized and keep it optimized so it doesn't start to slow down because i found you know when i originally started i think my first when i didn't understand lightroom catalogs i think my first lightroom catalog got you know, 50, 80,000 images in it, and it just used to be such a dog, and I'm thinking, oh man, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to switch away from Lightroom, it's just way too slow. And of course, when I learned things a lot more, I realized that it was just the catalog. It wasn't actually Lightroom itself, it was just the catalog was getting so big and bulky, it was just slowing everything down. So that's another reason to do it. And, and with client work, I just find it's just easier creating a new catalog every time I do a shoot and it just uh, makes my life a lot easier to be able to go back, find the images with all my edits and everything will be sweet and good to go, all right? The last thing I wanted to talk about was backing up your Lightroom catalog, okay? And I'm re I told you before, it's super important to make sure, you know, your Lightroom catalog is optimized, but it's also super important to make sure that it's backed up. And if you aren't storing your Lightroom catalog exactly with your images that are being backed up in your backup strategy, which we can talk about in another show, backup strategies, wow, so much to do there. So there's a nice way where Lightroom can back those things up for you, and I'll show you that now. So we jump over here, if we go back up to uh, Lightroom, we go back up here to catalog settings, you'll see down the bottom here, there's a backup once a week when exiting Lightroom, okay? Or you can say every time Lightroom exits, all right? So if I go to quit Lightroom now and I go Lightroom, quit, I'm gonna get a dialog box to tells me to back up and this is kind of nice, you know, and I can, it'll tell you where to back it up. Your, the default location for the backup is actually where the original Lightroom catalog is stored and that's not a good thing because that's not a backup, okay? So if you're backing up to the same place as the original catalog, that's not a backup because they're both in the same location and if something goes wrong with that drive, well then you've lost your catalog. So what you wanna do is choose another location. I don't have any external drives here, but I could choose the iCloud drive for instance, you know, and I know it's gonna be saved off site. Then if I choose that location and then I just hit backup, and boom, that's it. Lightroom's now backed up that catalog. It's put it in a cloud location. If you use Dropbox or if you've got external drives, you can save it to that location. And every time that dialog pops up, you just hit save and it's gonna save a new copy of it and you'll be good to go to restore if you ever, and it does happen, if you ever lose your Lightroom catalog. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you liked that one. That's all about Lightroom catalogs. And uh, welcome back to the 3C show. We've been on hiatus for a little bit, so I'm super excited to be back. If you've got any questions, comments, or anything you need help with below, please just jump in and uh, let me know because I'm here to help you with your, your photography. All right, stay awesome, stay inspired, and be unstoppable. Peace.